What's up Jules? Jumping right into the video, I'm going to take my seam ripper and seam rip the bottom edge of my button up to give me the most amount of fabric. And that leaves me with about an inch and a half extra of fabric which is very very nice. And I'll just take that and iron it out so it's all flat and nice before I cut my pattern pieces. I was able to cut two long 9 inch wide rectangles for my pleats and I also was able to cut out the top half of my skirt. I went ahead and sewed the side seams of my skirt together. Once I sew my side seams together, I also went in and basted my zipper to the back. Now I'm going in and using my excess fabric to cut my facing. I sew the side seams of my facing together and serge the raw edges and I'll press that seam open so there's less bulk when I'm sewing my facing. I'm going to also go in and finish the raw edges on my side seams before I go in and add my facing. I pin my facing right sides together and sew along the top edge and also down the zipper. It's hard to explain so just kind of watch the video and see where I'm sewing at along the zipper before I get to the top edge. Once my facing is sewed together, I turn it to the right side and now all I have to do is top stitch along all sides of my zipper. Here's my zipper all top stitch. It looks very neat and beautiful and it zips up and down very smoothly. Now I will be pressing and doing a top stitch along the edge of my skirt. Once the top stitching is done, I will go in and serge the bottom half of my facing. And here are the finished results. Moving on to my pleats, I have a long rectangle 45 inches in length and 9 inches in height and I am marking my pleats 2.5 inches wide. To make your pleats, you're going to take your first line and fold it inwards and then you're going to skip that line and take your next line and fold it in towards that line as well. It's hard to explain so watch the clip and it'll be a lot easier to understand. I continue that same process onto my next pleat and all the way down till I run out of fabric and this is what your pleats should look like when you are all done. Here are my finished pleat panels all pinned. Now I'm going to do a line of stay stitching along the top edge so it stays in place very nicely when I'm sewing it onto my skirt. Here are what my finished stay stitches look like. Now I'm going in and pressing the bottom half of my pleats to give them a nice crisp finish. Now I place my pleats right sides together and serge along the sides. Now I take the top edge of my finished pleats and place that right sides together along the bottom edge of my skirt, pin that and sew it into place. Once I'm done sewing that seam, I'll take it to my serger to finish the raw edges. This is what my skirt is looking like so far. Now I'm going to go in and hem the bottom edge. This is the finished hem of my skirt. Very beautiful. We're almost done. I'm just deciding to add four belt loops. And I'm going to add some spikes to my belt loops. And here is the finished result of my skirt. I love it so much. Here are some photos from the photo shoot that I did. I have more on my Instagram linked in my description box. But if you love this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss when I post in the future. Bye!